Oh, freaking rights, boys. Got a new roof deck. What happened? <laughs> you How's best going, buddy. How you too doing? Been better, I guess. Bad. Yeah. Wait till you see it. Yeah. Look at all your stuff. Cases of coke and shit. You're on the coke. Oh fuck yeah. Oh great. Second fucking set of roofers on the coke. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> you bestin'. So that screws clearly into something, right? None of them are. No. Why? Why would they be? You're just putting screws in there for for show, right? It's just like, a, yeah, this guy's a goof, man. He can he can come over to fight me. I think, I think it's what's gonna have to happen. Um, it's not done. Like, why would you pay for it? Yeah. And, and what's done is done really poorly. poorly. I mean, it's not done. Like, why would you pay for it? Yeah. And, and what's done is done really poorly. poorly. Like, how am I gonna pay this like, guy? Look at this. They started to put a screw in it, and then they stopped, but they already put a hole in it. I mean, it's small. I mean, it's, you know, take a piece of caulking, but when you do sh stupid shit like that, you take yeah. note of it, and you, you cover it. You yeah. shouldn't do it in the first place, but yeah. if you do, take note, and they take a mental note. Yeah. And, like, I mean, this is just foolish, man. But this is the thing. I could have done the roof like this myself. I yeah. could have done a shitty ass job of it myself. Yeah. I'm not gonna pay a guy to do a shit job. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll be honest with you. They probably more than likely have never done a, a metal roof before, in my opinion, just by looking at it because there's just simple shit. I mean, it, it, you could, they could have, like, like yourself, it looks like they just went up, looked at how the old panels were on and just tried to replicate it. Yeah. You know? You know, like left the neighbor's yard, which, you know, Tiffany told them over and over and over. I told them where the garbage was over and over and over. You know what I mean? I told them where the cigarette butt bin was over and over and over. And how come there's, you know, four inches of overhang on this side and, and it's less than flush over here, you know? Oh man. Like screws not even in. Not hole on anything. That's the other thing too, this foam enclosure that he insisted that I have and this and that and whatever else. Like look how it's not even done like like half like barely neat, you know? Like look. Oh I know, it's it's just Look completely it. this foolish. This one goes all the way in, and it's and it's it's not even it's not even on the the edge yet. Yeah, nails mean, like, jabbing this out. Off, nail all these down. Flatten it out. Yeah, flatten it out. This and that. They just they were just like pulling sheets off and dragging new sheets out, not even checking for you know nails or screws or bumps or high I'm spots. Gonna, or, this is like such an easy. Um, but like I, I would fix the end, and that's his doing. He he messed up the metal. There's one sheet there, but I mean, you know. That's that's his doing, you know. He fucked it up, so it's his responsibility. Even though you bought the material, you know, he's taken the responsibility of using your material. Then, if he fucks up your material, he's got to replace that material and fix it. Mm -hmm. Aside from not putting the screws in, you want to make sure that if the, when the building's breathing over time and you know whatever shifting, you want to make sure that that seal's not going to break. And you know, it's as simple as having a guy go behind you. You're with the screw gun, the guy going behind you with the with the caulking and just putting a bead over it. Do and you use it. a door and window and siding caulking on the roof? <laughs> there's there's uh, there's actual roofing caulking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah. Right on. Yeah, I don't have good luck with roofers at all. Yeah, I don't have much luck with any contract. No, drywall dick. Even the good drywall dicks, there's a couple, you know, all that drywall, there's like one seam in the ceiling split right open, like big time, and then there's uh, a couple small ones. Oh, this will be good. Hello. Hello. What's going on? Not much, bud. How you doing? No, oh, not too bad. Fucking, okay, uh, yeah, I was just wondering when when you were uh, paying for that job. Another screw. Or whatever. Uh-huh. Well, it's got to be finished first, but it's pretty fucked up. Why? What do you mean? What happened? 
Oh, so I got... there yesterday without me, and I just left the job site again right now because he pissed me the fuck off. I just ripped the whole goddamn fucking roof for him in two hours. He comes back and fucking rips three fucking shingles off and goes, look at how much I fucking done. I'm like, go fuck yourself, buddy. Don't fucking deal with that, so. Yeah, well, I mean, you can come over and there's another screw. You can come over, there's another screw. Hey, like, I got a guy here right now just, you know, looking at the roof. And, I yeah. mean, it's just a fucking joke, man. Are like, you kidding me? Yeah, no, I'm not paying him. He's, oh my uh, God. he's, uh, completely fucked up sheets. He's fucked, you know, I mean, there's piles of screws everywhere. I'm looking at a pile of garbage that I, me and the old lady picked up all night yesterday. The neighbors shed roofs covered in shit. I told him not to get anything on my PTO roof, TPO roof, and there's screws all over it. And they're going to continue to wash down off of it, off of the man, shingles are full of shit. That's what I would say that he shouldn't be doing, man. I was fucking snapping. Like he left with me yesterday, he goes, oh, I'm not fucking running on your time. I was like, that's my job, and you're fucking making me look like an idiot. You know what I mean? Like, I know everything that I'm supposed to be doing there. And then he goes and fucking, he goes to you and tells you everything that you're supposed to be doing. Like, now everything's fucked up. Huh. And now I look like a fucking idiot. You know what I mean? This is fucking stupid, man. Like, wow. like cigarette butts in the east trough, screws in the east trough, like, you know what I mean? There's screws that are that are through my roof and not even into anything. You can push down on the roof and the screw and everything moves in and out. It's just through the metal. It's not even into anything. The whole end, the gable ends, the, 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 the you know, the, the ridge cap where it terminates at the end of the gable is just ridiculous. Like, no absolutely foolish. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna... I'm gonna come from Sunny then right now, like I said, I just left the job site there because he fucking, he was fucking, he told me that he was gonna punch me out or something fucking stupid, I was like, you're an idiot, buddy, like, fuck, and he was ignoring me all, all day yesterday, fucking, oh, oh yeah, I don't Pretty know good. what the fuck he was thinking, man, so I'll, I'll come out there wow. and look at exactly what the fuck you're talking about, man, like, I'll do whatever I can to fix it too, because I need that money, right, like, I need first and last. My fucking girlfriend cheated on me like a month ago, man. I'm fucking surfing around right now. That job there was supposed to get me my first and last, and he came in and hired two fucking people, three people. Like, now I gotta go and pay these three fucking people that he fucking hired for that job. Like, oh, man. Yeah, this whole uh, this whole thing was just completely dicked. He, he just he dicked it completely on us, man. Like, I'm telling, I promise you on my life that I had nothing to do with anything, man. I fucking had to get mad at him a few times on the roof because he fucking tried to take control and oh blah 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 fucking tell me how it was gonna go. I'm like, all right, fucking, you do what you gotta do then, buddy. But make sure I get my fucking money when we're done. Then, you know what I mean? Like, if you're gonna fuck the shit up, make sure you fucking give me my money when we're done this job. And then he still doesn't like. He didn't even pay me for that jump. He said he was gonna give me a hundred bucks for doing that jump. And he for didn't. Excuse. Fuck no, man. I, yesterday or the day before, he said he's going to punch me out because I said that I wanted the money. And he's like, oh, fucking, I'm not fucking paying you. Fucking this job, like, like the your roof. He's like, this job's taking us way too long as it is. It's costing me money. Why the fuck would I have to pay you more money now? Blah, 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 blah. Wow. I'm like, that wasn't part of the deal, you fucking idiot. Like, what if I broke my back? He's like, you owe me a hundred bucks. Yeah. He's like, no, he's like, fucking come and get it from me then. My wow. Like, piece of shit. Yeah, he's a fucking stooge. You should um, uh, tell him to, you know, try to come and get the money from me. You know what I mean? Because, like, what he did to my roof, like, you know, the guy fucking told me when, uh, you know, and it's on video, like, I'm putting all this shit on fucking YouTube, too. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like fucking, I'm just like sliding under the rug. Like, the, the, it's already, you know, like, it's already on YouTube. Like, I'm a couple yeah. days behind, but fucking, you know what I mean? This whole yeah. fucking thing, and he ain't getting any fucking money, and he ain't fucking coming back here, and if he does, there's going to be a problem. You know what I mean? Well, he is, he is a scrapper, you know what I mean? He is the type to fight anybody, anytime. So if that does happen, if he comes there, it might, it will turn into a fight or something, unless you, you know what I mean, unless you can do whatever. That's just how he is, you know what I mean? So unless you have, like, let's say the cops there, fucking the ministry there, fucking Ontario workers, anybody, man, you know what I mean? Like... Yeah, well, he comes onto my fucking property, starts fucking gating off to me. I, he better fucking get me a good one because fucking... 
I'm just not gonna fucking roll over and fucking let this goof fucking talk to me like a fucking idiot, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, he, there's sure. no fucking way that this guy can look at the fucking job that he did on my roof and fucking tell me that it's fucking worth a fucking shit. No, you, you know, know what, what I mean? He's telling people, he posted a bunch of pictures on Facebook and he's telling people it's my work. All the screws like, are zigzaggy across the roof and shit. Yeah, I'm like, this ain't my fucking work. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've posted a picture of the three or four sheets that I put on and I will fucking send you those pictures myself. And they're straighter than a fucking cunt hair, bud. Like, they are straight. You know what I mean? He's like, trying to tell me... He's trying to tell me that the back of the roof uh, isn't square, but the sheets that came off of it, there isn't a sheet that's all cut on a big angle, right? So it's like oh, the back. No, they're, they're all square. The back of the roof, you know, and then he didn't even take nails out. So there's like forces. <laughs> so he's got it's another back, eh? another handful of friggin' screws. Friggin'. Well, from the grass? Yeah, from all over the place. The neighbor's shed's just full of them too. I gotta climb up there and get all those, so. Like oh, this, man, this. I, I texted them this morning. I was like, "So what's the what's going on? What's going on with Inwood?" And they said, "Job's done. We gotta go and meet him later to get the money." I'm like, "Whoa, the job's done!" Like last time I checked, there's fucking still work to do. You know what I mean? So they went without me and did whatever the fuck they just did. You know what I mean? And and Cody there, fucking, he leaves for three quarters of the job. You know what I mean? He gets us to fucking rip all the shit off gets me to throw on a few sheets so he can get lined up straight and then he goes off of mine and just fucks it all up and then he takes credit for fucking everything but then fucking posts it on facebook like it's fucking his work or like it's my work i mean he leaves for fucking three quarters of the time and he thinks he's getting fucking paid for you know what i mean out the asshole fucking he's an idiot man mm -hmm. everything that he's been doing is fucking bullshit like, I can't believe that you just said that. Your roof is fucked up, like. Like, I mean, he's he started screws and then not, and then decided, oh, I'm not gonna put a screw there now. So he's poked a hole, you know, banged on it so the, the tip of the screw went through so you could start the screw, but never put the screw in. So it's just a hole in the metal, like a hole in the metal. Like a <laughs> pinhole, boop, pop the, pop the tip of the screw through, right? Holy man, did he, did he man, do that yesterday? Well, yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I have no idea there. when he did it. I'm just telling you, like, I'm just looking up there. You know, I went up there yesterday after we got home and we cleaned up a bunch of the shit in the yard and, and just kind of did an investigatory and like looking at the job and, and just completely beside myself. So then a friend of mine has a roofing company in Hamilton. So he dropped what he was doing to come here and, you know, figure out what's going on like i mean i'm looking from the ground right now and my my you know from pulling the rope up over the ease trough and stuff there's you know my 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 leaf guards all pulled up and stuff in, in some say, spots you screw the leaf guard back down? and uh you know it's just you know i mean it's just ridiculous the whole mm -hmm. friggin thing is ridiculous it, where the ladder was did he at least screw the trough fucking thing down like you well that's there? the other thing the 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 from sliding the sheet, you know, like a normal person would, you know, hang a piece of carpet, an old piece of carpet, two screws and a piece of carpet, zing, zing. Now you got something soft hanging over the east trough. You can just slide the sheets right up there and it's not making, scratching the paint off my new fucking sheets. And you know what I mean? I don't give yeah. a fuck if it's the bottom side. The bottom side's gonna condensate and fucking, you know, when there's when there's big scratches in it, it's gonna open up. It's, it's just rust. gonna rust from the inside out for yeah. fuck's sakes. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's poked holes in the roof. He's you know buddy's up there right now taking all kind of pictures there's fucking nails in the in the gable end that he didn't even take out you know like right on the tip like on the on the top well, he, of the edge of the gable end your buddy's gonna take pictures you're gonna take videos and shit and then he's gonna blame it all on me darren fucking t he's gonna try and make me look like the dumbass and then he's gonna come after me and tell me that i owe him money if you don't pay him i swear to god that's what he's gonna do I can already foresee this coming, man. What a fucking joke. Yeah, but it's all there, though. It's all fucking there. I, that's why, uh, right from the video. right from the beginning, every time I came out, every time I heard the door go off, you guys were using my tools, my shit. I'd try to give you my level. I'd give you my hard hats, my boots, my my harnesses to get you back up on the roof to do more work. And you and you throw sheets on the roof and leave. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like you had three quarters of a day, and then you tell me, oh, we're going to be here at 6 o'clock in the morning, 6, 6.30, so I get up at 5.30, and I'm fucking, yeah. you know, fucking around, fucking around, fucking around. You don't show up till fucking, you know, 10, 11, 12 o'clock, 
it's the hot as fuck out. If you come at six in the fucking morning, you can get three, four hours in before it's blister boiling yeah, fucking man. hot up there. Yeah, no, trust me, I know. I was up at 5, 30, 6 o'clock every fucking day too, man. I suppose, even today I was. And I was calling him from 7.30 in the morning today up until 9.30. And he finally wakes up at like 9.30. Fucking, oh, you know where the job site is. Fucking go. So I go there and fucking tore off literally the whole roof. He comes back and fucking tears off literally the, like a 10 by 5 section. And he just goes, oh, look at how fast I fucking did that. You've been here for fucking how long, blah, blah, blah. Because all of his buddies were out there, eh? So he's trying to make me look like an idiot. Every time, right? He's, he's all high on himself. He thinks he's the best. Yeah. What's gonna happen, man? We're gonna, he, he's gonna see all the footage of all the work that he did that's fucked up. And he's gonna blame it on me, man. Like, fuck. Like, oh, man. I'm gonna keep, is it cool if I come out there today? It's I like, don't, I don't care. Okay, man, like, what can I do to help fix whatever the fuck you did? You know what I mean? Because I need first and last, like I said, even if it's only half that fucking money. He can fucking deal with the half of the money that he's supposed to fucking get because I did my job, you know what I mean? Oh, and yeah, I'll but... Back and I'll, I'll come back and I'll fix whatever the fuck you fucked up. I tried to hire you, right? I tried to hire you, yeah. and then we were going to do it ourselves. And you were like, oh, yeah. my boss, this and that, and blah, blah, blah. So then it became your boss's job. He gave me a he quote, was, right? So out of that yeah, money was your pay and this and that, that pay. Well, the entire job is fucked. I'm not going to pay... You know what I mean? Like, I completely understand what you're saying, and I feel bad that he's gotten people to fucking do work and then his end result is a piece of shit and it's not getting paid for but i can't you know i can't pay his employees you know what i mean like that's just fucking crazy i tried right when you told me that you'd got all this experience doing roofs and stuff i says you know i'll get the quote on the materials and when you know like f you know you get a couple buddies i'll pay you guys fucking you know we'll figure out whatever's fair and we'll go from there right i didn't say like i'm gonna try to give you 10 bucks an hour or this and that i said we'll figure out something that's fair so like yeah. you know whatever you know we'll come up with a number everybody's happy and then we'll fucking do it and then you came over with yeah. this fucking guy and i fucking i'm like okay he's got a name on the truck he's this he's that he's got quote things he wrote up a quote whatever to, you know this and that and then uh -huh. tells me he's gonna be i says okay i'll get the materials delivered friday and start saturday yep i mean he picked the day he's saying well when do you want to start when do you want to start i you know saturday work yep okay so i'll get the materials dropped off friday i don't want to get them dropped off wednesday if you're starting saturday right mm -hmm. you're fucking brutal man yeah there that's like, him trying to call in right now but uh wow. so then doesn't 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 call or show up saturday right like i got shit to do right like i gotta plan my shit out every day i gotta make a video so if today's video is the roof dicks are showing up and then they don't show up that kind of fucking all of a sudden now i'm boom i'm on the spot for you know figuring something else out for today and uh, you know what i mean it's like that's fucking bullshit and i don't like that if you're not fucking coming call me and let me know you're not coming right and then he, and then he tells me oh we gotta leave here and i gotta go seal up other jobs it's like you have other people's roofs open and you're like here like what the fuck man yeah. Like, yeah, this no, guy's I a understand. goof, man. I, I understand completely what you're saying. And but he's, like, he's trying to make me look like an idiot. And they're just like, you know, I'm not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everything that I told you is true. Everything that I said I could do, I can do. And I could have done that easily. And I snapped on him when he fucking had all those other people there. Right? Because I, I told him all I needed him to do was help me out with the material. You know what I mean? And the general quote of the roof. You know what I mean? Like, how much... I should be charging compared to the next person. You know what I mean? Like, I had a rough idea, but I didn't want to charge too much or too less. So that's what I had him there for, was to give a good price that we could all agree on, right? And that's the thing. If he said, like, I was prepared, you know, it was 2500 for the materials, and I figured if I could get the, get it installed for around 2500 you know, if it was completely out of my hands, right? Like, I'm not involved with it at all. I pay somebody else 2500 bucks to install this fucking roof. That would have been great. You know what I mean? Like, I, you know, but he's like, oh, you know, I'm going to, it's only going to take a day and a half, and, and I'm going to need, you know, at least 800 bucks for myself. So fucking, you know, so I'm like, okay, well, 800, 800 bucks for a day and a half. So what? He's expecting to only give me, what, a little bit? Yeah, like he told me 1250. So he says he wants 800 for himself. So and then I'm thinking like how the fuck is he paying four guys, you know, however however many hours a day they're here, you know, to 
out of this, out of, you know, the 450 bucks that's left. Like, that's crazy. He would never catch me up on a roof for four days, even if it was for an hour each day for a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? That's just crazy, you know? Yeah. So, you know what I mean? The longer it took, the more I'm realizing that the whole operation is just fucking bullshit. And then he's yelling at me on the thing when I'm telling him the fucking, you know, like, what the fuck, man? You're the roofer. You want, you want me to fucking, you know, tell you how yeah, to do man. the roof vent you tell me how to do the roof vent but if i need to go get more shit tell me i need to go get more shit don't wait till you're doing it and cutting up fucking sheets of new material and then tell me well this is how we had to do it because you didn't go and do this if i need to go and get this tell me i need to go and get this and i'll go and get it you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah for sure man and then you say okay well I, I, you know give me another 50 bucks to put this flashing on okay no problem you know what I mean? But that, you know, it's not fucking, you know, the guy's just a fucking hothead fucking goof, you know, like just trying to ram my shit, come here, acting all fucking hard, this and that, and the shit he was saying to the ministry, it's like, holy fuck, bud. As soon as buddy leaves, like as soon as he fucking leaves, you guys are back up on the roof with no harnesses and this and that, and lipping the guy off and stuff. The guy who, who was here is totally gonna catch wind of it. I mean, he was here two weeks ago and we got his motorbike started. Oh, fuck, have you paid him any money yet? No, I'm not gonna. Whatsoever? Yeah, because he kept saying to me, oh, I'm gonna have to go get 200 from him right now so I can fucking pay for this, that, and the and other. Then he, and then he has me get that, that paper stuff, the rollout stuff, and tells me, oh, you didn't tell me it wasn't plywood. It's like, what? You told me that I needed that stuff and you weren't gonna do the roof if I didn't have that stuff. So I went and got that yeah. stuff and now I got 300 bucks worth of material that isn't going on my roof, but I can take it back and get my money back. Except for it's in Elmer, dude. And I'm not driving to fucking Elmer. What the fuck do I need to go to Elmer for? You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll give you the materials or, you know, him, right? As, yeah. as, as like trade for the, the foam gasket shit. You know what I mean? It was right around the same price. I'll give you that. You can use it on another job, tr charge buddy for it whatever and and this and that and that's what i was gonna do but then when i came home and i seen how just fucked up the the gate you know what i mean wow, i mean there's nails he forced nails in the gable end over by just pushing this fucking sheet metal down you know what i mean like it's just ridiculous and so what can i do to come out there like <sighs> I mean, you can come out here and I'll show you what I'm fucking pissed off about and then you could completely say, yes, I agree 100%, that is completely fucked. And I could see why you're not paying and stuff, but I don't owe you fuck all. He owes you fucking money for working. I owe him if the job was done, but the job was never done. It's not complete. I, I have a garbage bag of crap on the ground that me and the old lady picked up yesterday. There's a guy from Hamilton here right now. He picked up a couple handfuls of shit. Well, technically, because he's saying that it's my name going on the job, so technically it's my job. So if I come out there and fix uh, everything, wouldn't that just, mean? He can just I undo... I swear to God, dude, he put my name on the job, but he's the one talking to you. He, he, I say that, I'm, I'm telling you that with everything I got, man. He fucking put my name on everything. And then he went and did that. And even he went there without me yesterday. But my name's on it? What the fuck? The guy who, who I got to come here... Uh, has got all type of the cockings and he and he's up there like you know testing the screws he's like unscrewing screws by hand they're just like through the sheet metal they're not into anything you know what i mean how long is that going to keep water out you know oh my fucking god man yeah, so they're, you know, I, I've been through this same shit before. Hat goof piece of shit roofers come to my house and they fucking peanut butter shit on and I paid that son of a bitch like 7,500 bucks. Plus I had to get rid of the dumpster and it ended up costing like two grand, 2,500 bucks. You know what I mean? Plus I had guys of my own come here and help strip the roof, right? So it was like all they really did was unroll like six sheets of membrane and screw it down and, and you know, got 7,500 bucks for it or something. And, you know, there might have been 1,500 bucks worth of material. Materials. You know what I mean? Do you want to give me at least half so I can fucking throw that towards my one my first or last? Like I said, he can deal with the, the money that he was supposed to get or whatever, but I can come and fix everything that he fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, I know technically it's him that owes me money, but it's not because it's my job. He's just trying to fucking, he's the one trying to get all the money for my job, right? Like, he's going and talking to you, but then going and posting on Facebook and posting everywhere else and, and putting my name and all of the fuck and everything. Right? Yeah, but like, his, his name was on the quote that I got, and 
you know, he's the one that came up with the price. He's the one that, that, you know, I talked to you about it, right? You're the one who brought him here. I mean, I talked to you about, you know, we could do the roof. I got scaffolding that'll reach up there. I got, you know, ladders. I got all the stuff. Clearly I got all the stuff because when the fucking ministry guy came here, all my stuff came out and you guys were using it. You know what I mean? Like now I got brand new hard hats that I got disgusting, mussy, you know, they're only 10 buck hard hats, but still, you know, there's 20 bucks in fucking hard hats. You know, my fucking boots, my harnesses, fucking, you know, my, my shears, my metal shears, and then just thinks the edge is finished off with just a sharp as fuck, gnarled up, dickered edge. The guy's on glue. Do I want to smoke? Yeah, I went. I need to get a drink, bud. One minute. All right, man. Well, I'm going to uh, get a ride out. And, uh, like, I want to see what I can do, man. Like, I... Well, I'll show you cool? what's going on, but... Is there any possible way, I mean, you can work something out where I can, you know what I mean, fucking get a little bit of money, man? Yeah, but... Uh, I was really relying on that fucking job. I cannot believe that he fucking did that. Like, I actually want to lose it. Yeah, it's not... That it's just not happening, right? Like, because fucking, you know, if I give you 500 bucks and then at the end of the day, it ends up that I got to pay him the 1250. Well, now, I, you know what I mean? That's oh, just fuck fucking no. crazy. You know what I mean? But I ain't paying him the 1250. I mean, if he wants to come here and fight or do whatever the fuck he thinks he needs to do, that's cool. I'll just make a movie about it and put it on YouTube. Fuck. Fuck. All right, man. Um, fuck, let me know what's going on then, I guess, all right? Right on. Um, all right, I'll uh, give you a call when I'm on my way. Choo choo. Yeah, bye bye. So what's the word? Do you want me to fix that shit or leave it for them? I'm not sure at this point, right? And like I said, I had a price kind of in my head, but I'm not a fucking roofer. And realistically, it's dragging 28 sheets up the ladder. And, you know, I wanted to save the old ones, so I was more than willing to help and stuff, right? So, you know what I mean? It's like, you I know. I saw all... that in the video where they were just and reefing it along your eaves trough. Like, yeah. Holy fuck. Man. Like, got... how come, you, you know, two screws and a piece of carpet like, or, a, or a 2B6, jam it in the eaves trough, but I got the leaf guard and stuff or whatever, right? But Like, I got, a, I got a ladder, I got a gutter guard for the ladder and it tucks in. Like, you, if you come here and there's gutter guard, you take it all off. So you got harnesses and hard hats and work boots? Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you don't leave that 28. shit at home and use the customers? No, no. Do you I use mean, the customer's should, level and, and metal shears? That's, and, the, that's the common thing. Yeah. Here's mine there. It's a $800 harness. It's got all my pouches in it. That's probably the one that Buddy thought I was talking about when I was like, oh, and they fucked off with one of my harnesses. I had three, now I only oh. have two. Yeah. They left my level. These ones left my level. They used it, but then they gave it back. But they, they took my harness. Yeah, so. If you come to a job site and there's gutter guard on it, you pop it off, you take it off because you don't want to damage it, and you put an eaves guard in there for your ladder, and then when you bring up the metal, you bring it up along the ladder so it doesn't touch the eaves drop. I mean, shit, that, that right there, if I did that on one of the insurance claims or, or for one of the property managers, we'd be replacing that eaves drop. Yeah, well, and, exactly. And got no, there's no questions about it. Like, I got no defense on it. I mean, we didn't protect it. It, we so what it. about all the sheets that he drug up over there and scratched the paint off the underside of the, you know what I mean? There's, there's, you know, like he, that's going to condensate on the underside of that sheet and it's going to rust it. Plain and simple. And, and he realized it probably once he got started. And that was when he's, everything changed. When saving the metal and all that stuff for you was, was okay when you guys were discussing it. But once he got on job on the job site and realized, holy fuck, you know, I'm not gonna make any money on this job because I I didn't fucking measure it properly or mm. whatever. That's when he started cutting corners. You know, that's when he started getting stupid stupid shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's what it looks like. Mm. I mean, he was probably cutting corners. Well, yeah, right like I mean, hop, you can right? see the first 20 sheets off of there came off without a, a hitch and then all of a sudden they're all just coved in on the end and there's shooting gravel all you know they're firing them down over here and it's shooting gravel all over the new metal you know like i don't want gravel on my new metal i don't give a shit if it's just lightly set on there and stuff you know what i mean like you know like i mean we started stacking it here and then 
by the end of it, they just were just dragging them over and leaving them in a flopping mess on the ground. You know what I mean? And then there were screws on this. So, you know, they're dragging the sheets instead of lifting them. So they're not like knocking the screws off and then carrying them over here. They're just dragging them. So screws are falling off all over the yard. Like where I drive my trailers, I drive my trailers in here, pull around and pull right across here. Well, you got dogs too. And if they get that, you know that if they, if they puncture their, their pad with a, anything sharp and those things can get turned up, right? Yeah. They puncture. Well, yeah, they're, they're, they're just, you know, buddy's like unscrewing them and flipping them all over. Just unscrewing them. Beep, 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 beep. So just flinging them everywhere instead of like having a pouch or putting them in there. Like, I mean, you have them in your hand anyways. You know I what I mean? I magnet that I keep on my, on my, uh, my belt. And as you're, I mean, I keep the, the new ones on there, but as you're pulling them out, you're sticking them on the magnet. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's just common sense. I don't know. Like, I don't know what to do. Like how, what, what is the, like, say, say like, okay, so I don't pay this guy. The, and, that's the problem. I mean, if, he decides to, to, to go after you for it, and you've already gotten somebody else to do work before he has noticed that, like, obviously he's not aware yet that he's not getting paid. He could say, well, he got somebody else there that voids the warranty, and you know, he's in his rights to say that, right? But I mean, you got video evidence that it's all fucked up. I mean, mm -hmm. like, the stupidest of motherfuckers could see that he, he like, just- The simplest shit is, is just, and that's the thing. I didn't, I didn't ask him. I didn't say like, oh, you know, like I'm looking for a really cheap roof. I'm looking for, you know, like, man, I, this is where all, all my money that I spend is in that part of this fucking building. Right. So like, I mean, I got, I, I would say 80 to a hundred thousand dollars worth of my shit is, is behind that fucking door right there. I don't want a dollar store roof on there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like no. I fucking want to make sure that I can go to bed and it can be storming like a fucker and I wake up in the morning and go out there and my bridge port isn't fucking sitting in two feet of fucking water. But it doesn't matter if you got all that equipment or you store fucking old newspaper. Oh, I know. Because you're a hoarder. That's your building. He's, uh, he's been hired to take care of that job yeah. and make sure that it's done right. Exactly. And that's what he's supposed to do. And if he fucked up on the price. That's you know, on him. He can, oh yeah, but he could also come to you and say, hey man, like, you know what, I, I fucked up. And you know, you could, if you If wanted. it was a really good job and I yeah. seen that he was really exactly. putting effort into it and shit. Exactly. And then he came and he's like, man, you know, like we really fucking, you know, it took a whole day extra and this and that. And we really, you know, look at it, man. We really did a good job for you and here. He wasn't and then I, I would have no problem. I don't mind fucking spending money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. For quality, yeah. you know, just like the drywall effort. dicks. Yeah, effort and quality, yeah. Yeah, effort, that's all I want to see, really. Hello. Hello. What's up? So I just I just called him. He said, go ahead, send all the videos to the ministry. He doesn't care. They won't do nothing and can't do nothing, apparently. And, and told me, he said, I'm not asking you to. I'm telling you to call him and tell him that I'm on my way. And he better have my money or go and hide in the closet. <laughs> right on. And I said, well, listen, like, he just told me everything, all the different fuck-ups, even as somebody here from Hamilton, fucking blah, 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 told him everything that you just told me, and he fucking snapped out and said, oh, I don't care, blah, 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 and he goes, yeah, you know what, if he doesn't pay me the money, then you're fucking paying me, fuck, blah, 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 then hung up the phone. We'll see. So, now, yeah. <laughs> just, just like I said when I was just on the phone, he's gonna fucking tell me that I that I'm paying him if, if you don't. Well, he can tell you all he fucking wants. That doesn't. He's not the king and ruler of all that is. You know what I mean? He's a fucking nobody clown goof. You know what I mean? And that's all he fucking is. I can tell by the way he fucking did my roof, man. Yeah, like I'm, you know, sure. there's multiple screws that aren't screwed into anything. He didn't even ask to fucking you know, hey man, I fired a bunch of screws in that didn't go into anything. I need to go onto the inside and put wood under there so it's like it's it's not just a floating screw through the sheet metal that's totally gonna leak. You know what I mean? Like how is that not gonna leak? Just a screw through the sheet metal. Yeah, he said uh, at the very end he switched it up and after he was saying that it was his job and he was going to get the money. He goes, well, you know what? Actually, it was your job. He goes, so if you want to go out there and fucking talk to him about whatever the fuck you want to talk about, go ahead. So I told him that I'm going to go out there and fucking check out everything that you're saying, right? Just so I can fucking Verifications. verify it. Right? So I can verify it. And he, he goes, oh, 
it's your job and you fucking, you this and that, you screwed this and that up, so you know what, you go ahead and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but, but you, I, he gave me the money. quote and then he left. He left you in charge or whoever in charge. He gave me the quote, it was his job, and then he fucking left. You know what I mean? Like, what is this guy even thinking, bud? He must be fucking stupid. See, I made the mistake of paying the old roofers and I'm still to this day dealing with leaky fucking roof. I gotta go up there all the time and put caulking and shit to you know make sure the caulking isn't all cracked open because caulking is holding the weather out of my building, right? And which is just yeah. completely fucking foolish. That's why I was talking to Buddy about flashing, you know, doing other work for me. But you know, and he's talking about doing it all at once. It's like, man, we'll get the roof done. We'll see how that goes. And like, you know, if if it, if the roof went good, and I would have even been willing to pay him more if the if the job was good. You know, man, I underquoted you a little bit, man. You know, maybe it was closer to two grand or something. And you know, maybe we could work something out, you know, and fucking, I don't have a problem if the fucking, you know, roof was done mint and it was like, holy shit, you guys really did a good job. Then I would, I wouldn't have a problem at all. But you guys were dragging sheets. Like, why, why don't you have a fucking piece of carpet or something to hang over the east drop to drag the sheets up over? Like, have you guys ever done metal roofs before? Yeah, man, he just wanted to do it quick. Trust me, we were telling him like, man, like, what are you, why are you being so fucking- Rammy and so, shit. So rammy, yeah, that's what I'm like, for, so rammy. And he kept getting mad. Like, hey, did you see sometimes we'd be going up the ladder and he'd just fucking get pissed. Oh, you don't fucking show you how to fucking lift it up. Yeah, and oh, exactly. Let him do it. I got all that on video. I, we'd let go of the metal completely and he'd fucking drag it up himself. Like, ah, fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah, I got a bunch of that shit on video. Side, and then he looks up over at us. That's how you do it, you fucking idiots. I swear, you're both fucking retarded. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Right? Like, fuck, man. He, he's like, so what are you trying to pull on me here, Jordy? He's like, I just try and call him and he won't answer to me, but he'll answer to you. I'm like, man, I was just on the phone with him for fucking half an hour. Like, that's why he wasn't fucking answering me. Like, holy. So now he's fucking telling me to call you and tell you that. <laughs> right on. Fuck, this is brutal. Every aspect of this fucking roof is dicked. Like, Poke holes to start a screw, but not put a screw in. Put screws in where there's no fucking wood and just leave it, you know? It's just yeah. fucking peanut butter. The ease troughs are full of fucking screws and washers and nails and bits of shit and crap and stuff. My PTO roof's all covered in little pieces of sharp sheet metal and screws and all kinds of crap. And I seen that, you know, the shit that was there was picked up and stuff, but all the shit that's blowing out of the east trust and blowing off the roof, uh, you know what I mean, or whatever, it's, it's it, like we were up there and a screw just appeared out of nowhere on the TPO roof. You know what I, I mean? I started cleaning up and he goes, because I literally was walking along the uh, east trough taking out all the screws. He goes, what are you doing, you fucking idiot? I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I'm cleaning up our job site. He's like, fuck, look at this place. It's a fucking junkyard anyway. Just fucking leave everything. That's not our job. Uh. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, holy man. Right so on. I left it, right? Like, because he's the one fucking, you know what I mean? It's a junkyard anyways. Perfect. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah, and I told you guys not to put cigarette butts in the yard, and there's fucking, my old lady picked up 25 cigarette butts out of the yard yesterday. I and even went around and started picking up cigarette butts myself. Yeah, I, well, obviously, like, I mean, you know, I, I seen, like, you know, there was there was cigarette butts that were there that were gone and stuff, and I seen, like, you know, screws had been picked up, cigarette butts had been picked up, garbage had been picked up, but not all of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's still tons of screws, tons of garbage, tons of cigarette butts, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just... Every time I start doing something, I get called a fucking name, right? There's more washers don't, right there. Don't fucking do this, or don't do that, fucking blah, 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 blah. You don't know what you're doing, right? Like, the whole time. Oh yeah, I know. I was here fucking a couple times. I had to just walk away from him because I was just getting so fucking pissed, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Same here. Same here. Me and the other guy that were working there were getting choked, too. Like, fuck. You know, and I started fucking snapping on you, you know, when when we're talking about that fucking, that, uh, you know, that roll of stuff, because he insisted that I have it. And then, you know, you're trying to tell me, oh, we're going to put it on up and down. Well, no, you're not. You know what I mean? Like, listen, fucking bud. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I was just that, getting pissed. He, like, that's literally what he said. He When he showed up, he's like, so what's the problem? I was like, well, I told him what you said. We'll just put it up and down the fucking the roof. 
And he snapped and said, no, it doesn't go on that way. And he said, oh, well, fuck it, then we fuck put it on, blah, 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 blah. All right, all right. Everything, everything that I was telling you, everything down to that flashing piece for those little fucking soffit screws. For when I came down and asked you about those, that's what he told me to go down and tell you yeah. to ask you for. You know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't look at him and say, oh, we need soft screws for this fucking broken down, fucking cocked up flashing. Yeah, it's you know like, I mean? how, and then that's the other thing. How are you, like, do you guys go to, to every fucking job site and, 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 and get materials from the customer? Screws and this and that? Like, what? how come you don't have all the shit you need? That's just that's crazy. I, I was wondering that myself, man. And he looked at me and said, oh, I'm taking a little bit of extra money because we're using everything of mine. I... You're um, you're paying for my gas. You're paying for using the tools. You're paying for this. You're paying for that. He told me all this at the end of the job. And I was like, listen, buddy. I was like, I could have fucking did the job myself. It's like Chris told me that he has all the tools there, and me and him could fucking do it. The only thing I needed you for was to help me quote the roof, and you go and hire two or three fucking people. So like at that point, there's nothing I could do. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, okay. Well, he just hired three people that already fucking. You know what I mean? agreed to go and do it so now they're looking forward to work you know what i mean yeah and he, that happened and then he takes off for three quarters of the days thinking that he's getting paid 800 fucking bucks yeah no literally like he was he was gone even in the videos that you uploaded on youtube every one you're like fuck man i'm choked this guy's fucking gone every time i go out there yeah you know what I mean? Like, like every time that's why out, he's gone. every time I heard the door open or you guys come in there or the, you know, when I was out there working on the mill and shit, I was fucking recording the whole time, recording every fucking thing that guy said about, you know, bitching at you guys and, and carrying on about this and that and telling me that, you know, we don't have time to fucking, you know, put those sheets down nice and stuff, you know, well, why the fuck did you tell me that you told, I told you exactly what was going on. You told me the price. I said, oh, okay, right on. Like, that's like half of what I expected. I totally expected to pay right around what the materials cost. 2500 bucks, 2500 materials, 2500 to put it on. And then so when he came back with with 1250, oh fuck right on, that's less than I expected. You know, I I didn't I didn't ask him for a deal. I didn't fucking, you know, I didn't, you know, tell him, oh, that's a little high. Can you can you do a little better than that? You know what I mean? He came to me with the price. He told me when he could start. So I get the materials fucking here, and he does, and he's, then he's fucking, you know, I gotta go hunting him down, and then he tells, oh, well, maybe Sunday or Monday. It's like, wow, dude, right on. Oh man, fuck. Uh -huh. so that was just a big complete waste of my fucking time. Then you know what I mean? Like, wow. <sighs> No, I fucking totally hear. I, like I said, I, I, you know, I feel fucking bad for the guys that were working here, uh, you know, that work for this fucking guy. I mean, the guy is nothing but a goof. Like, you know, even when, when he was here quoting the job and I'm telling him that the fucking, the, the roof vent has the, you know, like the, it comes with the fucking, the vent strips shit you know what i mean i told him that and he i must have had to say it to him 15 fucking times before he oh it does have that shit because he's just so full of himself doesn't fucking listen to anything anybody says just going on and on and on and then trying to tell me what he said the day that you guys showed up to do it he come in there oh i gotta see that quote again we didn't i didn't price it to put the, the this and that and the blah 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 and i'm like like fuck you didn't you know what i mean i got every fucking thing you said to get bud you know what i mean and then it turns out that i didn't and he had to go get more shit you know what i mean it's like and that that foam stuff is just all packed in there all compa wampus it looks like fucking complete shit like it's not stuck on around the edge and then the metal set on nice you know what I mean? jammed all up under there and all fucked up and stuff like for fuck's sakes man like you come over here and i'll fucking show you what my fucking problem is and then you tell me that i'm fucked you know what i mean oh i trust me i can almost fucking picture it Dude, i want to know what they did when i wasn't there yesterday they and fucked it up off and like and i snapped like i sat here and waited till 10 fucking 30 i finally start sweating the way the fuck are you guys wake up and they go oh we're already on our way to inwood we don't run on your time i was like buddy i've been waiting for you for the last fucking four hours like what so i i think what he tried to do is go out there and finish the job and they were telling me that they're trying to get paid for it yesterday but you took off right when the job was almost done and yeah but it wasn't almost done i took off like hours before they left like he's like oh yeah we got like three four hours left you know with the day the ministry was here we only got three four hours left he came two days more than that you know what i mean 
and the last yeah. day, you know, and then and then that day he said he was going to be here at six six thirty and didn't get here till fucking ten thirty, and then the next day didn't get here till after twelve, and again told me we'll be here first thing in the morning. I don't have days to fucking just sit around and waste waiting for fucking goofs that don't show up and then show up whenever the fuck. You know what I mean? If if you said you're going to be here at six thirty and you're not going to be here at six thirty, call me at five thirty and tell me, hey man, you know shit came up, we, we're not going to be there till probably like noon, and then I'm like, okay, and then just went back to bed, not got up and fucking you know sit there get all ready and fucking you know make sure that fucking everything's copacetic and then sit here and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait like fuck that you know what i mean he tried to make it out like it was me that caused us to be late he's like oh fucking i went to wyoming and sarnia yeah, exactly. and this and that no man i sat up there i literally i was up with my mom in the morning evening because my mom wanted to fucking go for a coffee in the morning so i woke her up at 6 30 we went and got coffee at 7 <laughs> i was ready to go you know what i mean and he fucking made it out like i was fucking stupid like i'm the one that was causing us to be late you know what i mean i didn't fucking do any of that man no he's saying that he's gonna come out there and make you look like a complete fool for the whole internet to see so fuck i can't believe like huh and there's, so there's no way that I can go out there and fix anything and get paid for anything. Well, right. I mean, it's not like, you know, I got other shit that needs to be done, but yeah, the roof is, the roof's like a done deal. Like, I can't, I can't let him, you know, it's not like, you know, he's going to come back, okay, well, I'll fix everything, all the fuck-ups, you know, and then you can pay me. No, me okay. I don't want you guys back up on my roof. That was fucked. You know what I mean? Like, you've already fucked it up enough. Not that it's you or whatever, this and that. The roof has gotten fucked up enough and me okay but yeah like i mean it's not like there's not nothing else to to do around here right so i mean it's not like you didn't work you know i'm not saying that you you didn't totally work hard as fuck and 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 totally put the effort in right but you know the the, the end result isn't isn't up to par like at all oh my god man. you know what i mean that's why i wish he wanted fucking he didn't fucking oh my god man now I look like a fucking idiot. He's gonna even fucking try to make me look dumb. He's gonna post it all over his group. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Jordy this, Jordy that. Make me look dumb. Freaking GoPro battery died, but uh, the kid was freaking right. He did uh, go on Facebook and just start gating off like a loon. Check this out. So it's like, I have four witnesses to this. If I have to pay a harness fine, big fucking deal. I will pay whatever fine they give me. I'm not worried about it. Why don't you have safety gear, blah, blah, blah. I have a good reputation for roofing. I did have. Yeah, I gotta go backwards in this because of just the way that it's freaking set up here, but uh, just arguing with Dix on Facebook. Oh, it looks like he's gonna sue me for slander. Apparently he's got an awareness group and it, and it was he, and he just came here to do my roof to expose me, eh? To expose me. But he says I wouldn't have paid you either. He says it was the wrong size, talking about the ridge cap. And, uh, cause that's the problem, it's, that's the wrong size. He was making 300 bucks, he just did it to see Jordy jump. Just an idiot. Says you couldn't even clean up. Says half those cigarette butts are his. It's like, what? I don't even smoke! Oh my goodness. Just watch the videos, is that you? Yeah. The guy's a fucking goof. <laughs> oh man. Here is a perfect one. There's the picture of the roof. He's, or he's wanting to get paid, said it's done. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. Like I said, it's not done yet. What? It wasn't finished till I got paid. Like I said, it wasn't even my job. Just use my quote papers. Well, there's his friggin' quote papers. Frick sack. Was I gonna argue? Oh, that's not enough, bro. You need to charge me more. Like, come on, matter for yourself. Says it looks like a hack, though. It wasn't even done yet. He told me he was gonna fix the gable end. He was supposed to do the wood fixing and didn't. We were there because of awareness, not to care about his roof. So he's trying to stay that he was there to expose me. Like I said, he's a goof. I had a feeling he was gonna do this, so I left three screws not screwed into anything. After he paid, I was going to install tapered screw. What an absolute idiot. He hasn't paid me at all. Like I said, I don't even want the money. Instead of answering me when I asked, do you want to, a new stovepipe and the flashing, he refused to answer me so that he could make a video about it. 
that's what he does, and now he's going to see what I do. 1250 is what the labor price was for the entire roof, and he expected us to carry each one down individually. No, I wanted you to bring the sheets down because I was going to resave it, and you agreed to that, and that was the price you came up with, you dipships. Didn't want foam enclosures at first, had to make them. No, it was like, well, you need foam enclosures, and I don't do roofs and I don't do them right, and blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Acting like a hard ass. And he still hasn't paid for them. Lumberyard is going to take him to small clean corn if he doesn't. What? I didn't buy shit from them. So he's always oh, tripping the egg caps, but he's laughing, I think. They're terrible. Wrong size caps order, too. Should have been another two inches either way. Yeah, okay, bud. Right on, because that has anything to do with the end finish. Just waiting for Pug's new video to be released, lol. Haven't seen it yet, probably be on tonight. We knew this guy was a goof from day one. Everyone in town wants him out. Strictly a publicity stunt. <laughs> wow. It's a waste of time. Jump is the only cool thing. And calling him a dog diddler. But he didn't put that in the video, does he? Well, you never called me a dog diddler, bud. Not to my face, anyways. He's looking at multiple lawsuits right now. Like I said, he's a fucking goof. Oh, he did it for one reason, and it worked. <laughs> oh man, this is hilarious. Blah, 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 he's like, this fucker is part of the awareness. Oh man, that's my new thing now. There he is, Sid, he sold more E than you ever did to some dick in 500 and night, and this and that, and blah, 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 and oh my goodness, bud, right on the Facebooks. Oh, well, he says his pockets are full of cash and he picked up four jobs while doing my job, so he shouldn't have any problem paying for uh, the roof replacement then. Perfect. But he's asking if you've seen the videos, but he says, yeah, he says, didn't even bring his tools. And then he goes, oh, it was supposed to be part of the project. It wasn't even my job and stuff, eh? What a douchebag. That was just before. When's Pugs movie coming out? Tonight around 10. Good late night entertainment. Yeah, we did. He's talking about my videos. Definitely learn how to talk to the homeowner. There's more to being a business owner than knowing construction. Just a goof. This guy likes the part where he had to teach the kid to do sheet metal. And he's talking about, he fucked up a flat roof already, and blah, 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 blah. And gating off like a loon. Just gating off like a loon. And then says, this guy looks like Pug Diddler also. Uh-oh. You look like an idiot, blah, blah, blah. My thoughts exactly. Never seen such a bunch of dicks organized, uneducated roofers in my life. Yeah, okay. I could care less. I hope it leaks. You had a good inspector visit. It was my first one. Just a write-up. You suck. Didn't charge enough for safety. The guys who work for you are the guys we all pay out the ass for. You fuck. Pug fucker refuses to pay and says it's all wrong. That's what happens when the homeowner orders the materials. Stupid fuck. He'll be getting a visit in the next couple days. Not going to be good for him. Y'all bass! So this must be the job that he uh, put on hold to do mine. Coming along, finally know that Pug fucker's cart garage is done. So Pug's life video is ridiculous. Roof wasn't even done yet. Not gonna finish when you don't pay. And half of the garbage is from him. Ha ha. He was a joke of the awareness group and found out and is just mad we call him Pug Diddler. Would love to see all the footage he doesn't show. <laughs> just fucking, the guy's just so fucking offside and making shit up and just a fucking complete belligerent idiot. It's so fucked. That's really good. I'm glad that he, uh, you know, posted all over Facebook that he was just doing the job to expose me for a bunch of bullshit and... You know, it was his intention right from the beginning to do a shit job and, 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 and whatever else, right? So, yeah, he'll, he'll definitely be on the hook to, uh, to replace my roof, I guess. So, friggin' nights, we'll just start the court proceedings. AS and the AP department got pocketfuls of cash. You know, since it's suing somebody with no money, right? So, he's got all kind of money. So, perfect. This is going to work out just splendid. Scores! And even his own buddy that's known him all his life and works for him and this and that thinks he's a complete fucking pile of shit goof. Like, what, what more do you need? You know what I mean? But anyways, boys, friggin' uh, we'll cut her short, call her a cigarette. Well, it's a long one, probably an hour or so by this point. But uh, anyways, way she goes and then we change. But uh, I got another guy coming here to uh, give an estimate on replacing slash fixing, right? One for Phipson, one for replacing the uh, entire roof. So we'll get a few of those. 
we'll uh, figure out what we got to do to go to court. And that's what we'll do. But uh, anyways, boys, beg my pardon, and we cheese. So you're going another dick of popcorn production. So until tomorrow. I'll let the watchers get you.